things are possible. Oh God, with God all. With God all. Hello everyone, I am Pastor Diana Reed of Grace Nation. I was initially diagnosed with bilateral breast cancer, stages two and three. So um, when I was diagnosed um, with uh, bilateral breast cancer, um, I initially went through uh, the process of seeing the uh, cardiac oncologist uh, and the medical team. Uh, and throughout that process, uh, my body started to decline. Uh, my nails were black. My skin was black. Uh, it, there were burn marks on me from from the medicine that they said would heal me and would work. And my daughter brought me back home to Grace Nation. And when I walked in, I came in because I knew that healing was there. And I didn't care if the man of God didn't lay hands on me personally. I knew that when I walked into that room that God heard my prayer. So when the man of God called me out and God healed me, I knew at that moment instantaneously there was no back and forth that I was healed. As of October 5th, 2023, my most recent medical exam, the doctors declared there is no evidence of cancer in your body. We don't know what happened. We had to stop our process. And I say that it is because Apostle Jerry Mickle prayed for me. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> words can't express, I am forever indebted. Your prayer made the difference. God still heals. So it was one day, um, my friends, I went out with my friends and she was driving. And I don't really remember too much, but like the last thing I remember was that the car was going pretty fast and she lost control. And then we crashed into the wall. 
and I don't really remember too much after that. Like, I was just, I was out of there. Uh, my name is Lewis. Uh, so I broke my neck in a car accident and I fractured my spine as well. I had like, I think it was like five, four fractures in my spine. And then I broke my, I completely broke my neck, so I couldn't, I couldn't move at all. So I went with a lot of faith because I completely thought my life was like changed forever. So yeah, once I went on the floor, Apostle Jay Mickle, he prayed for me and we both had a lot of faith because once I took off my neck brace, I was able to move my neck and I had a broken neck so I was not able to move at all. Not even, I had to turn just to be able to move. Like that was crazy. God still heals. My name is CJ. I was suffering from um, a torn ligament from my knee to my foot. I was playing basketball on Monday. Um, I was running towards my right. Uh, somebody sent me a screen, basically just standing right next to me. And then uh, I twisted my, my, leg, my ankle. And then after that day, I went home to a big lump and it just started hurting uh, um, during the night. And then by Wednesday, I went to the doctors and they said I tore my ligament from my knee to my foot and it may take weeks, maybe months to heal. I went to church on Wednesday. Apostle Jerry Mirko was not supposed to be on the mic. Pastor Paul was preaching and then Ap Apostle Jerry Mirko went on the mic and said that he wanted something challenging. So then everybody started calling me up and then I went up and I told them what happened and then he just sat me down and he just started like flowing in the spirit. Yeah, welcome over there. Wait, 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 why are you moving your leg? It's moving on its own. Jesus is working it out for you right now. Look, it's moving by itself. I, we can't make this stuff up. Why are you crying? Huh? This crazy, I know. It's crazy. It's, Jesus is too real. He come on. Oh, Satabaha. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't. It doesn't hurt. What happened? Somebody get. Somebody get Jesus. Somebody get Jesus. Somebody get Jesus. Somebody get Jesus. Hey. Huh? It doesn't hurt at all. It's not there. Where is the lump? It's not there. Where is the lump? Hey, 
You won't be needing these anymore. Hey! Gosto Hills. Hello, my name is Melody. When I first came to Grace Nation, I was suffering from very severe depression, anxiety, PTSD. Um, it was severe enough that I was hospitalized and went through um, ECT treatments. As of today, um, Apostle um, Jerry Mickle um, prayed for me and when I arrived at Grace Nation, I was taking um, about seven prescription medications for the depression and anxiety, and today I am not on any medicine. God is still in the healing business. God still heals. Hi, my name is Marianella, and I had been diagnosed with uh, plantar fasciitis. I actually was preyed upon by Apostle Jerry Mickle multiple times, but in these severe cases, he preyed on me on actually my second visit to Grace Nation and one healed me from my back. And then recently I was diagnosed with the plantar fasciitis and it was really excruciating getting to a point where my boss at work was helping me get out of the chair and he literally asked me to take off my feet put some anointed oil on my feet and when he came back asked me to walk Jesus I command the pain to leave in Jesus name just now walk just walk just walk you in therapy now I don't care just put your yeah. oil on your feet come yeah. on Okay. Hey! Wait, wait. Why are you laughing? I literally had no feel of pain on my feet and I was literally jumping for joy. God still heals. He said, let us create man in our image. His image became the mirror. So he was no longer discouraged of the dust. The word of God needs to be a mirror to you. And once the word of God becomes your mirror, you will not be discouraged of the material things that are telling you it can't be done. It is impossible. All things are possible. Oh God, with God all. With God all. Oh, my name is Carlos, and um, I'm a proud member of Grace Nation. The condition that I was suffering from was um, natural conjunction on my left side. I actually never experienced breathing on, the, on my left side until I came to the, to the house of the Lord. Um, so I came on a Wednesday, and the man of God said, uh, Apostle Jeremiko said, write you um, what you want to be healed for or a miracle that you would want to see in your life. So I read you know, my natural condition, and I walk into the front, and then he prayed for me, and I was instantly healed, thank God. Clogged nasal, okay, bend down, you're too tall for me. Hills. <laughs> Hills. Carlos here. 
hasn't been able to breathe out of his left nostril forever. He said, not even air. He said, just now, after you prayed for him, he's able to breathe. And he feels so much better. He's so overwhelmed right now, he cannot stop crying. How do you feel, Carlos? It's crazy. <laughs> the boy, they in college. I needed to ask literally like for an extra 30 seconds because I can make the time because it's it always been more difficult for me to breathe because I can never like breathe out of my left eye. Jesus. You cannot make this up. Is God real, yes or no? Yes, man. Well, the condition was affecting me because I play sports, so it was affecting my performance. How, how quick I get tired and everything, and now me being prophesied by the men of, by the men of God that are gonna play professional basketball, being able to breathe and don't get tired as tired, you know, it's just a blessing for me. God still heals, guys. Hi, my name is Lizzie, and I've been in Grace Nation since May 2021. I've been suffering for asthma um, for 10 years already. The asthma was affecting me in a way like I couldn't walk, I couldn't run. When I used to get like a, a mild cold, I used to get sick, I couldn't go up the stairs because I, I, I couldn't breathe. I used to take medication as my pump. I used to be an abutor, many, many medications. Well, I went to Grace Nation and Pastor Jerry Miko prayed for my asthma. Instantly was healed. I, I didn't use the pump. I didn't use the medication. They prescribed me some asteroid to open up my lungs. I didn't even got to use it because I was instantly healed. God still heals. Hi, I'm Michelle Hernandez. I was suffering from diabetes and Graves disease. I was actually diagnosed in 2012. I started having heart problems. Actually, initially I was um, diagnosed with diabetes and it gave me strokes, heart problems, um, appetite loss, hair loss, you name it. I was bedridden for two months. And the week before I went to go see Apostle Jerry Mickle, I was just in the hospital. I collapsed on the floor. My 17, now 17 year old daughter had to call the ambulance. Um, they sent me to the hospital and they said that there was not much that they can do. They had me on five different medications. Um, I had just had a stroke. It, it was just, I couldn't eat, I couldn't take care of my children. My two oldest daughters were the ones helping me around the house with my other children and just taking care of the house. I was bedridden for two whole months. I was actually on live, it was during COVID, and I was on live and on a Zoom call with Apostle Jerry Mickle and Pastor Paul, and they had encouraged me to come in because I was just sick in bed. I was actually had just had another stroke and um, they encouraged me to come in. And so I ended up going in that following Sunday um, and Apostle came while praise and worship was singing and doing their thing. And Apostle Jerry just came right up to me, laid hands and I instantly just felt this release and fell to the ground and within that night I got my appetite back. I, I just ate. Um, I met with a specialist that following week. They had told me that my numbers came down. Um, and then I met with them again the following week. They told me they ruled out the Graves disease. And let's just say it's been three years as of December that I have no more medications. I haven't been on medications and I'm just instantly healed back to myself. God still heals. <laughs> Thank you.
Hi, my name is Dorellis Castro. I had had a fractured foot. I was supposed to have it for a boot on for like a week and a half. And then after that, I was supposed to go back to the orthopedics and I was supposed to have a cast for I don't know how long. Um, I was in school and I was going down the stairs and I missed a step and fell and heard my foot crack. And like, I couldn't move, I couldn't like stand, walk. So the nurses came, brought me in a wheelchair, and I was just in the nurse's office till the end of school. The pain was really bad. I couldn't like feel my foot, like, um, I don't know, I just like, it was hurting, I couldn't walk. I was crying a lot. I had to like, when I walked, I had to limp or like literally walk on one foot. It's so, like, or I also had crutches for a while, so yeah. Um, it was on a Sunday, I think it was like during Healing Sunday, and I went up to Apostle and um, when he like prayed for my foot and I went to go sit back down and then he called me back up again and then we did, we walked back and forth, which we would refer to like as therapy, and when we were walking back and forth I felt the pain slowly like leaving my foot and I could walk completely fine after a while. He also gave me a, like a cloth and said to keep it on my foot for seven days. When that goes like that, and that's how you that's how you do it, right? Yeah. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. In the mighty name of Jesus, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. What, what happened? What happened? I don't feel the pain. You don't feel the pain? I know. Come, walk. Somebody give Jesus some praise up in here. Then we continue to walk around more and it, the pain just completely left. I went to school the next day without the boot on and no crutches either and it was, it was great, yeah. God still heals.